All in all, it is really, really refreshing to be home back in the Northwest. Oh, gonna go check my mail down here at the post office. Pretty much downtown, but uh, commercial and residential mixes really well. And one of the unique things down, about down here is people put a lot of effort into their yards. Like, see, this is just somebody's communal organic garden open to the public. Growing all their own food. Uh, some type of tractor device in the ground. And just, there you go, just like Key West, here in the Northwest, you got chickens chilling. I don't think you guys should be digging holes though, guys. No, you probably shouldn't be doing that. Actually, I think this place is sometimes a cafe during a couple hours of the day. You can just come out here and relax. Pretty cool. I'm gonna get uh, into downtown a little farther and try to find a place to boondock for the day, the night. downtown Olympia, uh, uh, Capital Lake Heritage Park. This is where they hold uh, Lake Fair here. Look right over the water there, you got the uh, Capitol building here, state capital of Washington. It's a little windy today, but You can walk, run, bike the trail all around the lake. It's kind of a popular route. But for whatever reason, you're not allowed to swim in Capital Lake anymore. You used to be able to swim in Capital Lake, but they've turned it like into this all natural thing where they're scared of every little thing making it not natural anymore, so yeah. I don't mind doing a little bit of urban boondocking here and there. Um, kind of want to today. They took all the stuff out of my P.O. box and said there was too much mail in there, so they're holding on to it for me and I have to get that tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. So I am gonna stay here in the downtown area overnight, get all my business taken care of, and then I can get back into the woods tomorrow. Are you just gonna chill, Jax? Okay. <laughs> I'll go outside real quick. I'll show you where I'm parked today. Boondocking downtown. I just gotta be out by the morning, so before the meters start adding up at 8 a.m., I gotta be up, awake. Um, remember I was always talking about know your surroundings before you go to bed, basically. Uh, you might wanna, a lot of people wouldn't know this, but this Thurston County Food Bank here, they're open Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays in the morning and people line up and it's loud and obnoxious and parking is terrible in this area. So it's a very good idea to be out of here early in the morning and uh, go take care of my uh, mail stuff at the post office. All right, it rained all night last night, <laughs> but we've got a little break here going on now. I got all of my business taken care of this morning. It's about 9.30 in the morning, and I get to go play here at Tum Water Falls. This is a beautiful little park we have here, just outside of Olympia in the city limit of Tum Water. This is a little Chinook fish hatchery right here at the top of the falls. 
you can't really see any fish in there. They're jumping around though, all over the place. Tiny little fish. And that big building over there is the old Olympia Brewery. I, I heard a report that uh, uh, they're going to start brewing Rainier beer again in Seattle, Washington. So that long closed up brewery is supposedly going to start brewing Rainier beer again. Kind of cool. Historic. Uh, they still uh, produce Olympia beer, but it's a German company that owns PBR that actually just bottles it somewhere else. Hydropower Salmon and Beer it says the beer officially opened in 1896, was shut down during, during Prohibition, reopened again in 1934, sold in 1983, and officially closed in 2003. This part's always creepy, walking over the locks right here with the river below you. It can get really slippery here too. I'm sorry it's so noisy, but it's just beautiful. And right now you've got so much water thawing up in the mountains that, I mean, the water is incredibly high right now. Isn't that neat? The river that flows through the Tumwater Falls right here is the Deschutes River, the popular river that me and a bunch of friends like to go inner tubing on. We did that several times last summer. We might even do it this spring. These locks that were built all in here is so that the uh, salmon can still get upstream without having the uh, waterfalls in the way. Sometimes you can actually see them jumping through the openings. I don't see them today though. Clouds are starting to get darker. It's going to start raining on me soon here. but still pretty, even when it's raining. Imagine inner tubing down that. Oh, you can't, you're not allowed to, but. Also, Tumwater Falls Park is a very popular place for weddings, very popular. I've seen them over there. Um, in my immediate family, two weddings have been held down at the bottom down there. There's another little uh, place down there. Beautiful park though. Anyway guys, uh, I'm gonna pack up everything. I'm going to the woods. I'm going to some brand new locations in a top secret part of this state. And I don't even know if I'm going to have any phone or internet down there. There is a possibility that you may not hear from me for three or four days. But if I have Wi-Fi, then there'll be no interruption because I will take time to edit video and upload it right from the lake where I'm gonna be camping at. and. Hopefully this turns out to be a, a good spot. Marmarow? Can you say Marmarow? Well, you got eye contact. That's better than nothing. All right, guys. Hopefully uh, see you in a couple days. Hey, guys. This is Jax, my kitty cat. I'm his servant, Eric. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel here on RVing. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up below. Make sure you subscribe. Check out all our other videos. And keep following us on the road. Thanks, guys.